Hey everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a monochromatic color scheme. So what we're going to do is just mix up some colors. Um, I'm going to make just a, I don't know, yellow-green probably. So I'm going to grab the primaries that I need to mix that. And I'm going to keep them kind of close together to start with. Now, what we're creating right here is called a hue. So a hue is a pure color that is not mixed with black, white, or gray. And the hue is the primary part of a monochromatic color scheme. So if we were to break down the word parts, mono means one and chroma means color. So we're creating a color scheme with one color. And then what makes it change our colors is that we are adding black and white to it. And when we add white to a color, obviously it gets lighter and we call that a tint. And then when we add black to a color, it's going to get darker and we call that a shade. So I'm going to start with my hue, which is this nice yellow green right here. And we're just going to create a value scale. So we're going to go from light to dark across the page. But I'm going to start in the middle by creating my hue right here. So there's my first step. Now I need to make my tints and my shades. So in order to make sure that I keep this hue consistent all the way across and it doesn't change, I'm actually going to kind of save some of it for my tints and save a little extra for my shades. So I'm just going to kind of scooch it over. If you have a palette knife, you could do that, but otherwise a brush works out just fine. So I have hue for my tints and hue for my shades. They're split. Now I can add in some white. So we're going to make our tints first. So the key is we want to keep the black and white separate because if we mix the black and white together, black and white make gray, and that's not a tint or a shade. That's something called a tone. So when I'm mixing my colors, um, I keep my white separate from my hue. That way I can control the amount of white that goes into it instead of just like squeezing it all right into the pile of paint. So to start, I'm going to add just a little bit of white here, and then I'm going to mix it together with my hue. So we're going to create kind of a slow progression, slowly getting lighter and lighter. And then I can make my next swatch here. So that looks good. And then I will add a little more white to it. And we will add our next swatch. And we'll just continue the process, slowly getting lighter. Notice how um, I'm not washing my brush out between each of these uh, mixtures. It's because I don't need to. I'm using the same hue, so it's not really changing, and I'm just slowly adding white to it, so it's only getting lighter. I feel like I want a little more difference between these, so I'm going to just go over the top of that one, I think. All right. I like when I make a monochromatic color scheme, I like to have a good amount of contrast between each step. That way they aren't too similar. And back to the water, another thing that's really important with water is uh, water is going to dilute your paint even if you dry your brush out a little bit. If you have water on your brush, it will dilute it and that can make your paint lose kind of saturation. Um, so it's not going to be as bright and colorful. It's going to be a little more transparent, which, you know, sometimes you want that to happen, but sometimes you don't. And I think when we're working with tempera or acrylic, um, we want our paint to be a little more on the opaque side because it's a lot more vibrant and it stands out more. All right, so I've created my tints. 
And I feel like I have a pretty good progression going from our middle value to our lightest values. I could keep going if I had more paper, but we'll stop here for now. So at this point, we'll wash out our brush because we don't want to contaminate our hue with white when we start our shades. And I want to make sure I dry my brush off really well, get all that excess water out so that we don't water down the paint. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black onto my palette. So it's important to remember that black is a very strong color. It's overpowering, so I do not need a lot of it. Whereas white is a lot weaker, so you notice I had to go back and add more white to mix in to create my lightest values. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take like the tiniest little bit of black, just this itty bit, and I'm going to mix that in. Because it's you can't really go back from it once you mix it in, so it's best to start small and slowly add it in. So I think I could probably put in just a slight bit more. Again, tiny, tiny amount. And it takes over quickly, so got to be on the lookout. So that's not quite enough. Now we see a difference. And from here, we'll just continue the process, slowly adding black. All right, so there we have it. We have a really nice progression from dark to light, and it's all with a consistent hue. So the yellow-green stays the same throughout the entire progression. It only changes in value, which is the lightness or darkness of the color. So the color itself does not change, only the value changes. And that's what makes a good monochromatic color scheme. Um, now, you, I had mentioned earlier about how we don't want to mix the black and the white together because it creates something called a tone. So if I were to mix my tints and my shades together, that is going to create a tone of the yellow-green, which really cuts down the saturation of the color and kind of mutes it. So, I mean, I'm not saying never make a tone. I'm just saying for the purpose that we have of creating this monochromatic color scheme, it's not really what we're looking for. So the more gray we add into the color, the less of the hue that we actually end up seeing. And it just becomes very muted, very, very neutralized. So if I were to add even more black and white to that, I'm going to grab a little more white so that there's only just a hint of the hue left. As you can see, it becomes very subtle in the gray. So this is again, a tone when you mix gray with a hue. It neutralizes your color. All right, so that's it for monochromatic color schemes. Thanks for watching.